the self-righteous narcissist. Most narcissistic people tend to be self-righteous. They have that grandiosity to them. They have that exaggerated sense of self-importance. They believe that they're always right. They believe they're entitled to have everything their own way. They lack genuine empathy. They believe they are superior to others. They are very arrogant people who believe that the world revolves around them and when it doesn't they accuse you of no longer being there for them. When it comes to the self-righteous narcissist they have that, they take the moral high ground, they have that moral certainty of their judgmentalness towards other people they believe that they're better than others. They believe that they are always right. They're looking to take the moral high ground. However, they are often very hypocritical within their behaviour. And if you call out, call them out on these hypocrisies, they find a way to excuse and justify why it's okay for them to do something, but it's not okay for you to do something. They expect to be able to do to you what they wouldn't like you doing to them. When they are cut out on something, they will make out that they did it for your own good. They did it for that other person's own good. They'll find a way to shame that other person. They'll find a way to blame that other person. If they hadn't, I wouldn't. If you hadn't, I wouldn't. Because I'm only doing this for your benefit. Because you're the one that did that in the first place. Or they will claim that the other person deserved it in some way. You deserved it by not giving them enough attention. Therefore, they were entitled to go and cheat on you. And you will often hear a narcissistic person who is caught out on cheating turn around and say, well, if you'd have paid me more attention. And they actually believe that in their mind. However, they will happily withdraw from you not give you any attention whatsoever and if you just go and speak to a friend about it they'll accuse you of cheating their projection where they often accuse you of doing the things that they are doing to you narcissistic people crave attention and the self-righteous narcissist will brag and boast about any and all good deed that they have ever done they will exaggerate only they haven't done these good deeds out of the kindness of their own heart or to be there for another person they've done them to exploit those around them to sell people an illusion of just how amazing and incredible they are as a person so that if they do get caught out on something horrific they've done, they can rely on those people of being alibis for the narcissist character. After all, the narcissist is really helpful in the community, so they couldn't imagine anybody like that doing such a horrific thing, which the narcissist will play on and they'll go all out to blame and shame other people for any of their negative or toxic behaviour. So people question the third person person and not the narcissist. They will happily talk over people and cut people off mid-sentence because they believe that they're more important than others. They believe they're always right so they refuse to listen to other people's opinions. They'll often dismiss them or criticise them, mock them, put them down. Only if the narcissist realises that opinion was good, later on the narcissist will come out with that opinion like it was their own and the other person never said anything like that to them. They will refuse to apologise. Instead, they will defend themselves by projecting out onto other people, by accusing people of doing what the narcissist is actually doing. They will defend themselves by blaming a third party. If they hadn't I wouldn't. They will defend themselves by gaslighting reality so that they can cause self-doubt and confusion within you so that the narcissist gets off scot-free. They believe that everything is about them. The world simply revolves around them. When it comes to dealing with the self-righteous narcissist, it can be very challenging to deal with them as they have often gained enough people around them to believe in the illusion that they're selling. They've often gained enough 
enablers and flying monkeys, what they've technically actually done is brainwashed people into supporting them. And when you dare, when you finally see who they are and what they're doing, and you dare to stand up to them, they become offended. And this is when they will then scapegoat you, blame you, shame you, punish you and claim to those who still are believing in their lies that you deserved it in some way or they only did it for your own good. They're looking to scapegoat you because they don't want to be exposed for what they're doing to people. And by scapegoating you, anyone else that is starting to see the self-righteous narcissist for who they are by the narcissist scapegoating you it's a part of triangulation they're putting that fear into others to not dare to stand up to the narcissist because they've seen what's happened to the scapegoat so people are more willing to fall in line and become submissive to the narcissist demands and Anyone who tries to speak to a narcissist about this, they will some way deflect the blame onto somebody else. They will often, the self-righteous narcissist will often play the martyr out of how it was to benefit everybody else, of how the, the scapegoat was the troublemaker the scapegoat was causing problems that you don't need people like that in your community and narcissistic people as they believe they're right and as they like the genuine empathy they are often very convincing in the lies that they tell to those around them and due to the lies and the brainwashing that you receive from a narcissist when they're gaslighting you it's very easy to question and doubt yourself and listen to what they're saying and listen to their excuses and justifications and take them on as reasonable and rational not rational until one day you do something that displeases a narcissist and you end up being on the receiving end of their hurtful treatment and you end up being scapegoated and often then the scapegoat will then go after the previous scapegoat to try and form an alliance and try to figure out everything that's happened to gain that support so that they can recover from everything they've been through. When it comes to dealing with people in general, what you have to remember is just because somebody acts like they're always right doesn't mean that they are. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go in contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. I do also have a couple of books out on Amazon, The Narcissist Handbook, which is a self-help guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse and 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people for those who cannot go no contact. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and all those links will be in the video description and I'll add them into the comments also. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.